Thanks for checking out this video. So let's get right to it. What is coming to Shutter for February? Now there's a lot coming to Shutter, so this might be a little bit of a long video, but I'll give you the information up front that probably most people want or may already have, which is Joe Bob Briggs, The Last Drive-In, will be doing a Valentine's Day special on Friday, January, January, February 12th. I'm already in a time warp. Um, and I'll, I'll give the details. I'll read the little synopsis of it when I get to it in the email of everything coming. So first of all, I'm going to hit up what are the Shutter exclusives and originals movie-wise that are coming. Now, just be aware that any of the Shutter originals, Shutter exclusives, I will have no spoiler movie reviews for the week they come out. Now, usually they come out on Thursdays. I will have my review for them on Mondays, typically, unless something goes wrong, like I get the screener late, which doesn't happen often, or, you know, life gets in the way. I don't know. But, um, yes, yeah, so expect them every Monday for those films coming out. So... The first one coming out is for February 4th, and that is A Nightmare Wakes. While composing her famous novel Frankenstein, Mary Shelley descends into an opium-fueled fever dream while carrying on a torrid love affair with Percy Shelley. As she writes, the characters of her novel come to life and begin to plague her relationship with Percy. Before long, she must choose between true love and her literary masterpiece. Um, I've heard good things about this one, so I'm excited to check it out. This is a Shutter original, and it's also available in Canada, UK, and New Zealand, and Australia. Now, if I don't say the United States, it's because it's in the United States. Like, default, all of these are in the U.S., so just know that. Uh, the next one is After Midnight, which I've also heard good things about, uh, for February 11th. Official selection of the Tribeca, Tribeca Film Festival, 10 years into his small town, storybook romance with Abby, Hank... Wait, hold on. Ten years into his small town, I don't, this doesn't make any sense, storybook romance with Abby Hank suddenly wakes up to an empty home. That makes no sense. Uh, with nothing but a cryptic note to explain why she left, Hank's charmed life begins to fall apart. To make matters worse, Abby's disappearance seems to trigger the arrival of a ferocious creature that crawls out of the old grove on the edge of his property. As a Shutter exclusive, U.S. only, unfortunately. Sorry, people. Um, I'm excited for this one, especially because there's a creature in it. I love creature films, and I don't watch enough of them. I feel like there aren't enough new ones. Uh, next one is Shook, which is coming out February 18th. When Mia, a social media star, becomes the target of an online terror campaign, she has to solve a series of tests to prevent people she cares about from getting murdered. But is it real, or is it just a game at her expense? Hmm, that's interesting. It's a Shutter original, uh, also coming to Canada, UK, Australia, and New Zealand. I'm excited for that one. That one sounds interesting. I like the concept there. Uh, coming February 25th, The Dark and the Wicked. This was also an official selection of the Tribeca Film Festival. On a secluded farm, a man is bedridden and fighting through his final breaths while his wife slowly succumbs to overwhelming grief. Siblings Louise and Michael uh, return home to help, but it doesn't take long for them to see that something's wrong with mom, something more than her heavy sorrow. Gradually, they begin to suffer a darkness similar to their mother's, marked by waking nightmares and a growing sense that an evil entity is taking over their family. Sounds interesting. That is a Shutter exclusive, and also in Canada, UK, Australia, New Zealand. All right. So the series, A Discovery of Witches, Season 2, is going to continue. They're putting out an episode every Saturday, is what it looks like. I'm not covering that at some point. I will be doing reviews on the first season, because I haven't seen that yet, and then I'll do the second season. Or actually, I'll probably do one review for both seasons, but not yet. It's going to be a while. Okay, so here's the news about Joe Bob Briggs and The Last Drive-In. Like I said, February 12th at 9 p.m. Eastern. Love is in the air for the first ever Last Drive-In Valentine's Day special. Joe Bob Briggs hosts a double feature of two unusual films about the power and horror of love. Dim the Lights, Pour a Glass of Bubbly, Dom Perignon, or Lone Star, your choice, and join us on the Shutter TV feed for the live premiere. Sounds fun. I'm excited. And it'll be on demand starting on Sunday, February 12th, just so people know. Because I know some people have questions about that on the internet after it's shown. So there you go. 
All right, so the regular films. Uh, coming February 1st, Audrey Rose. In this haunting psychological horror directed by a true master of the genre, a happily married couple find their lives thrown into frightening disruption when a stranger appears at their door, claiming that their adopted 12-year-old daughter contains the reincarnated spirit of his little girl. Interesting. Also in Canada. Uh, the Queen of Black Magic, the 1981 version, which I've been told um, that it's the the one that I already did a review on at this point that's coming to Shudder that's from 2019 is a remake of this one, so I'm interested to see this one. Uh, a woman is accused of being a witch and thrown to her death over a cliff. A strange man rescues her, nurses her back to health, and tells her that she must master black magic in order to exact vengeance on her tormentors. Also in UK, Canada, Australia, New Zealand. Oh, oh, it has a note. This 1981 Indonesian horror classic was the inspiration for Timo Stambol's The Queen of Black Magic, a Shudder original premiering January 28th. Really good. Definitely check that one out. The one coming January 28th. I don't know about this one. Vampire's Kiss, also coming on the 1st. Uh, after a night of passionate lovemaking in which he is bitten on the neck, a troubled literary editor becomes convinced that he is a vampire and begins to live the role. Audiences in 1989 may not have been ready for Nicolas Cage's unleashed expressionistic performance. Some in 2021 aren't either. But the film has become an essential watch among Cage connoisseurs. I'm sure a lot of people are excited for that. I'm thinking I'll probably try and check that one out. Also in Canada is where that's being released. February 2nd, Head Count. Newcomer Evan joins a group of teens on a getaway in Joshua Tree. While exchanging ghost stories around the campfire, Evan reads aloud a mysterious chant from an internet site. From that moment, someone or something is among them. As unsettling, inexplicable events become more frequent, Evan realizes this summoned, shape-shifting creature is targeting them to fulfill a deadly ritual. That sounds interesting. Also in Canada and the UK. Uh, then February 8th, Night Tide. In this eerie 60s thriller from the director of Queen of Blood, Johnny begins dating a woman who thinks she may be a mermaid. Don't get enough mermaid films, I will say that. Encounters with a witchy woman and the fact that her exes both drown slowly convince Johnny that staying with her may be dangerous. Fans of mysterious mid-century horror like Cat People, The Seventh Victim, and Carnival of Souls shouldn't miss this uniquely moving fright flick, which drew an underground, drew on underground filmmaking styles to create an experience decades ahead of its time. I'm very intrigued by that. I'm thinking about checking that out because it sounds very weird and interesting. That one's also in Canada. The Whispering Corridors Trilogy, all coming also on the 8th. Uh, a new teacher's arrival initiates a gruesome series of events at a private school in this acclaimed series of hit horror films based on high school urban legends in South Korea. That sounds interesting. I'm not going to read each individual uh, little synopsis for each of the three films because I have a feeling that the the first after the first one there will be spoilers so i don't want to put that out there so uh, i'll just tell you it's whispering corridors memento mori and wishing stars uh, sorry wishing stairs not wishing stars um i've heard that memento mori is good that's the only one of these i've heard of but i'm interested to check these out so also comments down here have you seen these films and do you think i should check them out coming february 9th carmilla Isolated from the outside world, 15-year-old Laura lives in seclusion on a vast country estate with her father and strict governess, Ms. Fontaine. When a mysterious carriage crash brings a young girl into their home to recuperate, Laura immediately becomes enchanted by this strange visitor who arouses her curiosity and awakens her burgeoning desires. Inspired by the 1872 gothic vampire novella by Joseph Sheridan, Le Fanu. All right. Um, available also in Canada. Sorry for that. The next one, uh, I will be checking this out because it's another Giallo film that they're adding. It's a more recent one, though. So this is The Strange Color of Your Body's Tears. I've already seen this film, but it's been many years. I need to do a revisit and a review. 
So, uh, this visually stunning Belgian giallo homage follows a man who returns home from a trip only to find his wife missing. Seeking answers, Dan visits his nasty neighbors who draw him into a surreal mystery that gets stranger and stranger. Is there a conspiracy at work? How many secret passages does the building have? And where is Dan's wife? I, it's worth watching if you like Giallo. Also available in Canada. Now, February 15th, Basket Case. Very happy to see that they're re-adding Basket Case. I don't know if that means that the Joe Bob Briggs treatment version will be available. I hope so, though, because that was on his original, I believe, his original marathon that he did a few years back. So hopefully that's back. I don't know. It doesn't say anything about that here, but... I uh, also have a review for all three Basket Case movies on my channel, and you can check that out. I have an entire playlist of reviews for Frank Hen and Lauder films, because I also have, um, in addition to the three Basket Cases, uh, Brain Damage and Frankenhooker. So check those out. Uh, Siamese twins separated in an early age avenge their separation by killing the doctors responsible. Pure and simple. Also available in Canada. If you have not seen Basket Case, do me a favor. See Basket Case. It's a must. It's so bad, it's good. I love it. The Ninth Configuration, also coming on the 15th. This is done by William Peter Blatty, by the way. A troubled psychiatrist takes command of a military asylum filled with insane soldiers in this creepy, only-in-the-70s oddity written and directed by the writer of The Exorcist. When Kane arrives at an army castle to cure the inhabitants, he bonds with an astronaut who snapped before a mission. But as the two men examine their demons, it becomes clear Kane may be more in need of help than his patients. Blatty's unsettling mis mix of psychological horror and Altman meets Joseph Heller-esque comedy has fascinated diehard cult cinema fans since its release in 1980. That sounds very intriguing. I'm probably going to have to check that out. Also in Canada for this one. Outcast. Also coming the same date. Mary harbors a dark history about... Uh, but must confront her past when a hunter with magical powers is assigned to capture her and kill her son. As the terrifying cat and mouse game continues, a deadly fear takes hold as locals begin to die at the hands of an unknown creature. Combining dark arts with street level realism, Outcast is an underseen UK chiller from the director of The Girl with All the Gifts. That sounds interesting. Also in Canada and the UK. It looks like Australia and New Zealand's not getting a whole lot. I, f I feel bad for you guys. February 22nd, One Missed Call by Takashi Miike. I'm a fan. Actually, it's been a long time since I watched, watched this particular film. Maybe I should revisit. Student Yoko receives a phone message from her future self, ending with her own death scream. Two days later, she dies in a horrific accident. As the mysterious phone curse spreads, claiming more young lives... Yoko's friend Yumi joins forces with Detective Hiroshi, whose sister met the same gruesome fate. But can they unravel the mystery before the clock runs out on the next victim? Yumi herself? You'll have to find out. Uh, also in Canada and the UK. Also coming the same date, the 22nd, open 24 hours. A delusional woman who set her brutal serial killer boyfriend on fire has just been released from a mental hospital. Her vulnerable demeanor helps her get a job at an all-night gas station. However, left alone to her own devices, her paranoia and hallucinations return with furious consequences. That sounds interesting. I want to check that out. I have a fascination kind of with films that take place at gas stations, especially like secluded ones. And I also have an idea for a script for a film, like a short film with that setting. Uh, also coming to, sh to uh, Shudder in Canada, just so you know. Also on the 22nd, Psychomania. In this beloved 70s mind blower, a motorcycle gang burst from their graves to crush a world of psychedelic hippie pleasures under the wheels of black leather occult mayhem. This is also available in Canada. I've seen that. It's a good time. Trust me. Check it out. And that is it for the stuff you guys need to know about. That's a lot of stuff coming to Shudder. Not a lot of, like, big-name stuff, but a lot of stuff that sounds very interesting. Um, so, yeah. And please, 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 I already said this, but if you have not seen Basket Case, please take the opportunity to watch Basket Case on Shudder in February. Please do that. 
Um, and then you can come back and comment on this or my review for Basket Case and let me know your thoughts on it because I'd love to get nerdy about that. I like Frank, Frank Hennenlauter. So anyways, please also make some comments and tell me what are you excited for that's coming in February or are you not excited? That's fine. Are you going to watch something else or other stuff that's just been on Shutter? That's fine. But let me know. Let's talk about it. Let's get nerdy. Do me a quick favor, though. Hit that subscribe button uh, if you like this video or if you like any video I've ever done because that is your best way to repay me. It's quick. It's easy. It's painless for you to do, and it does mean a lot to me. So I would really appreciate that. Also, hit that notification bell button, and that way you'll know any time I'm putting up a video like this or a movie review, movie review, which I do a lot of, and I don't mess up like that as much in those, and, uh, or unboxings or haul videos or anything like that. So anyway, regardless, I thank you for your time, and until next time, keep it brutal.